Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss about the Joule transformations. So first we have to understand what exactly is the Joule transformation. So Joule transformation is nothing but just a Java library uh, which is used to transform your JSON data uh, into a different JSON data format. So let's try to understand uh, uh, how to use this Joule transformation, how to write a spec uh, into the JSON and uh, uh, what is the huge case where we can use this Joule transformation. So I took an example of uh, integration platform uh, where we can discuss about how to use this particular Joel transformation. So if you look at this integration platform where um, in this integration platform uh, there are three uh, different uh, uh, vendor of uh, HR vendor actually which is providing that employee data. So each will have a different API endpoint and uh, or you can say each vendor will have different apis and different uh, you know completely all together separate services are there and now i want to uh, integrate this uh, employee data into my system so each api which is providing the employee data which is having a different data format so if you look at the bamboo hr so this is the bamboo hr which is providing a single employee object with respect to this endpoint and each will have a and each endpoint will have a different uh, uh field name so if you look at this is the having this is the complete uh, employee object now next one is the captera if you look at the captera it is having a uh, object inside this object root object in, inside this root, root object we do have the employee object and again in this employee object we have all the fields of this employee and again if you look at the this one and this one these are completely different that the field name is completely different now the third one is that Joho HR platform again the Joho HR platform will return an array of uh, object and each will have a different field name again. So the meaning is so each platform will have a different different uh, um, API response and now we have to integrate this one uh, into this uh, integration platform and store the data into this employee DB. Now as, as our DB will expect in proper proper or you can say the expected format but each will have a different different format and field name. So we have to transform this particular data into a required format so that we can store into the employee DB. Now what is that expected, expected format in which we need to store the data in the database. So if you look at this is the our uh, format in which we need to store the data. So that means the first name, last name, full name, salary, DOJ and contact and these are the information we have to store in this particular format doesn't matter this vendor is going to return in this format but we have to convert this format to in this formation which is called transformation we have to transform this complete result into this particular format so uh, there are multiple ways to transform the same thing so here we will use the jolt uh, to transform uh, the json into the expected json format so we'll see later how we can convert this particular part into the expected format. So this is our overall uh, diagram and uh, at the end there will be, uh, you know, uh, we will expose an employee service uh, uh, and uh, also we will expose one APIs, employees uh, API which is used to return all the uh, employee data which is exist in the database. So this is the overall um, uh, functionality or system designing which we are planning to do as part of this demo. So First of all, we have to understand uh, how to build a Jolt uh, spec, okay? So once we are able to um, build a spec, then it's very easy to uh, transform your result and uh, play around uh, this one. So before that, first we have to understand the problem statement. If you will not use the Jolt transformation, then what all are the challenge you will gonna face it as part of the programming world. So assume that we as we have already discussed about this one we have to integrate these are the three vendor okay so i have designed a system same simple uh, you know uh, system for this demo i do have this employee service the interface for which i do have the imp uh, multiple you know uh, implementation so they, there are two package i have created so old and jolt so in the old i will show you how the traditional way of uh, uh, integrating the the services uh, this is the services into this integration platform as part of this one so what i will what generally we do as part of traditional way we are calling this rest api bamboo uh, rest api uh, which if you look at this is the api and we are uh, getting this data or you can say consuming this data here and we are building a data basically this is the object which we have to store in our database 
now we need to build this object finally uh, to store the data in the database to build this object we have to get the field because if you look at the field name is completely different first name last name contact full name salary and all these kind of things now i have to individually get a field and assign the value if you look at the employee is having the id field now i have to get the field of user id and assign here first name last name or similar like this so if you look at all three uh, uh, HR vendor provider all these are having different APIs and I am doing the same thing each will have a different way of uh, using that APIs and each will have a different way of uh, consuming this one so if you look at here uh, each, each services will have different implementations here we are getting from ID first name L name uh, F name salary and in the bamboo we are having a different field name similarly Joho HR will have a different way of object because here in the Joho we are having the list from the list first we have to get it the first object assume that okay so here again the things are completely different and here if you look at the last name is not there only first name is there and the system need a full name as well so how you will build again you are assigning manually this value into the full name or first name last name and full name again right manually so these kind of things will uh, for that you have to write a too much code and you have to play around manually look at from if in the future if somebody added one extra field now how you will uh, add this one again you have to add this field here and you go back here and again do the same operations manually right so this is the traditional way of working the things but nowadays we do have the multiple transformation libraries in the java or or else in other language as well so how can we use uh, that library or so that you know we don't need to make such changes or easily we can achieve but if you will use the JOL transformation or any kind of library where uh, you know you are doing the transformation then how you will map that field into the required format for that you have to build a JOLT spec so okay so we'll come to that point okay first let me uh, show you how the traditional way of getting the data so let me show you this uh, up the applications and show you how this uh, data is going to be stored in the data so I have created employee service uh, employee repository and uh, I do have and this data will be loaded while uh, loaded while up the applications as I am using this post construct that means while creating the bean before creating the bean uh, it will loaded all the uh, data okay as part of bean creation process uh, so let's see the things uh, the data is created successfully and application is up now so if you look at localhost 80801 and slash h2 i am using the uh, h2 database to store the data in the database if you look at there these are the three source of the informations okay i already exposed one endpoint so that you know you can see all the employees so if you look at this is the employee list which i am going to return uh, from the database and uh, this is the list which got it from the different sources if you look at this object came from bamboo hr this object came from the capetera this object came from the joho right so that means i have integrated all the data into our database or you can say as part of integration platform and store into the database so this is the overall and this is i have exposed one api which is used to display the record in the front end side or you can say that anybody wants to use it this list of uh, employee they can use it easily now this is the uh, traditional way of doing the things well you are doing the manually and assigning the field name and uh, and doing the same thing again and again okay now let's try to uh, build a you know jolt spec and how to use the jolt transformation in code so that it's very easy to do the same thing and we don't need to write too much uh, code like this we just need to write one or two lines to do the same thing okay we can avoid this reputation or work and we can avoid this hard coded field name as well so let's see uh, so i do have a multiple references uh, for this jolt transformation what you can do is you can google it out Jolt transform online when you do this one there will be a first link you have to suit so this is the uh, you know uh, platform where you can build your uh, spec online and you can use uh, as per your needs okay so let's pick this one okay and uh, this payload 
this is the payload you i you i you, uh, you know you can copy here and paste here and uh, now let's try to build a spec okay so this is the by default will come up with this uh, let's pick the spec here so i do okay so there are multiple operation in the jolt okay so i am using the shift operations uh, shift default remove and uh, you know uh, there are multiple operations like this so for now we are playing around shift stuff so we will use this one only so our task is to generate a response like this only in this format id first name last name full name and salary date of birth okay something like this so this user id should be converted into the id format so let's talk one by one thing so let me fix this schema first okay L now let's this is the user id i want to build into the user id only because i need a id fill i want to transform into id only so if you look at this is the used to transform this one okay sorry my bad i have not put it in the spec and uh, you can put in the spec okay when you click here again transform it is converting this data into this id fill now okay what next i want to convert this first name okay i first name would be into the first name let me check it what is the expected format first name so i will store into this name what is the next thing last name this is the last name again i will pick the field name last name this is the last name okay so if if you want to see the response you can click on the transform or you can see the value here as well so let's see the next one we do have the uh, so if you look at the next is full name right so here we do have the field name of preferred full name so what you can do is you can select the preferred full name now what is the field name in which you want to convert into only field full name so you can choose into the full name okay so here if you look it is converted now now next field is what uh, salary so salary would be converted into the only salary next field is what uh, joining date okay so joining date will be convert into what is the field name doj only so it will be converted into the doj only date of joining so if you look at the field is converted now when you here what you are doing is you are giving this input you are building a spec with respect to this spec the system will automatically convert into the expected uh, json format so that's why we are saying this jol transformation is used to uh, transform json to expected json so this is the input uh, json you have provided here but here we are expecting into the different uh, json format so this is the transformation layer we are writing here so let's talk about the contact now so if you look at uh, here phone number and email this is the flat field are there now we need to convert into the uh, contact object as part of contact object so here if you look at we have to create a contact object so you can pick the key name here this is the contact and this is the contact and in the contact what is the field name you need it mobile number so let's pick the mobile number and if you look the response here you can you can see the contact object is created successfully now let's create another one and uh, yeah next we have the email address so this is the email address now you can see the contact and uh, you can see the email addresses so if you look at it will be part of contact object only so you just need to provide the um, uh, parent object name here it will automatically uh, convert it into this particular uh, required format now next is source so source will be part of source only so we don't need to do anything else so if you look at this is the overall uh, uh, you know output which we need it we can compare it first name last name full name salary and doj and contact so first name last name doj and contact and source okay source i think this is the old one but yeah we need it source just for that information so you can also put it the source here as well and okay so yeah so this is the r format which source you it would be any field okay i'm just putting this fields for the reference purpose like uh, it belongs to which uh, vendor of uh, which vendor okay so something like this spec you can build it okay the first task in the jol transformation is to build a spec so i have built this spec with respect to this bamboo only with respect to this bamboo that means what this is the uh, integration platform for this platform i have built this uh, 
spec only so now because now the second we do have the capetera and now capetera will have a different format of employee object we have to again uh, build a new uh, spec for this particular to convert into the expected format so let me uh, keep this one uh, somewhere so that we can use it so this is the bamboo spec i have already uh, kept it like this okay so uh, which is already there uh, in a place but yeah something like this it will be there uh, is it exactly this is exactly same you don't need to uh, look at that particular side okay now let's build a new one so if you look at uh, okay let's see the now uh, capetera object so if you look at the capetera let me see the capetera and uh, okay so let's build a now new spec now now here if you look at the capetera is saying employee now we need this object as part of under the employee here we need a flat structure okay uh, flat structure so let's build a flat structure uh, now so first we have to go select the field employee and as part of employee we have to select id is belongs to id so if you look at when you click on transform this is the flat it is converting automatically if you want to here if you want to add as part of employee then again you have to add as part of employee object it will come here employee object here you can see okay i don't need employee so that's why i am putting directly flat field okay next field is the first name if you look at this is belong to f name f name but in our case what is the uh, field name we need it there are in our case we needed a first name okay so if you look at it will convert into the first name the next thing is we have to use the l name next we do have the we can copy paste quickly last name similarly similarly we do have the salary and uh, you can provide a salary salary belongs to salary again and next we do have date of joining which belongs to doj again doj and next we do have the source and source again belongs to uh, source only okay next we do have uh, contact object so if you look at this is the contact object okay uh, contact object and we need to bind data as part of contact object only so what you can do is this is the contact and what is the field name the phone number and you want to build as part of contact and uh, what is the field name you need it in the contact you need a mobile number and here what is the field name phone number phone number and other and at that side what is the field name mobile number so in this way you can easily bind your spec and uh, play around with this one what is the field name email address what is the field name over there which you need it this is the email address okay so if you look at now response this is the uh, outcome and uh, this with respect to this input we have converted our output with this spec okay so this is the spec of uh, capetera and uh, let me copy paste this one okay so i can okay one more thing we have we are missing here the full name if you look at we don't have full name here first name last name but we do have the first name last name here with respect to this first name last name i want to build a, a full name i want to conquer this information and after that i want to uh, create a full name because if you look at the expected format needs a full name okay so yeah uh, there are two ways either you can make it in the code or you can make it a transformation layer so it would be good if you can make it at the transformation layer so here we are doing the shift operation so there is a one more operation is called a uh, modify uh, default beta uh, you can use it so let me uh, copy this one this and uh, spec so you can use uh, modify uh, default beta operation to do the same thing so what we need to do is basically this operations the, basically this op, uh, this spec will be executed in chaining form okay so whatever the result will come out of uh, this uh, spec or you can say this operations the same will be passed to this particular uh, you know um, uh, operation now or you can say spec now so now at the end if you look at for this spec what is the result this is the result now when you come to this result we have we should have the 
we uh, you know we will have the first name now or last name now we will not have the f name or l name okay so let's build an spec now for this one we have to build a new field which is called full name let me take exact field name uh, full name okay and as part of this full name what we can do is we can uh, concat the same thing so you can do perform the uh, concat operation and in the as part of concat you can uh, perform one operation and what is the field name first name first name and comma uh, if you want you can give some space first name in the last name and uh, you can give again one and the next field name is called last name last name yeah so this is the spec you can build it if you look at the full name is coming now with this now srk khan okay first name and last we i have added and we can say concat this field name uh, with this first name and last name so in this way you can modify the default uh, response as well uh, whatever uh, the with respect to this payload we have converted into this outcome this field full name was not there we have you know created this field name with this spec now so this is the spec uh, uh, okay so i do have this spec already just to save the time so with respect to this one i already have the same spec okay now next we have to build it the next spec is called uh, uh, for the third vendor is called again the third vendor will have a different way to uh, provide a employee data because at the expected format is uh, this is the expected format only now if you look at they are providing list but we are having the uh, uh, this is the object which we need it single object okay so how you can extract this informations uh, from this uh, list and let's try to build the jolt spec for this one okay so again you can go here paste it here validate here and uh, you can remove that uh, existing stuff just empty it just validate again one two one two just build it okay is it fine now okay so if you look at this will be empty now let's try to build it uh, a spec for this one so our expected format is flat again this is the array okay we don't need array we need a flat so just try to iterate to iterate over this uh, you know uh, array we have to use the star okay just to iterate whenever you have such kind of things just to use the star i am using star now you are at individual object so when you are at the individual object what you want to do i want to use this field as a flat okay i want to use this flat as a flat okay so if you look at i am using this flat okay uh, uh, here and next i need a name to i want to bind with the first name because i don't have any name i will uh, i do have only first name only okay and last name okay so if you want to provide some if you don't have last name either you can provide the same thing but you can also provide the default value for last name so we'll see in the last how you can provide the default value for the last name so if you look at the we do have this field name now or okay now if you look at this is the array object and we need this object if you want to convert into the array you can also convert uh, into this array as well as per your needs like let's take uh, an example suppose uh, i want it should be part of you know employee dot and uh, dollar one you can when you put it like this then it will be part of array if you look at right so you can put it any kind of the things whatever you need it so that means this is a very powerful feature to convert into the expected json format whatever you need it there are multiple default functions are there if you look at there are multiple examples are there in the below so you can use it whatever you need it but as for uh, current demo i need this one only so that's why i am using and more or i will focus on this one only so this is the first name and i don't need as i need amount which belongs to your salary okay i want to bind amount as a salary what is the next thing i am email mobile these are the field which i want to bind as part of contact object so if you look at this is the contact dot and what is the field name email addresses okay and next we do have mobile and mobile again will bind to um, contact dot contact dot mobile number okay 
next we have the uh, doj which belongs to your or uh, doj and uh, again source will belongs to again source so this will be the final structure but still there are two things is missing one is the full name and one is that uh, uh, last name so what you can do again you can perform the same operations default operations modify default operations where you can perform and add some expected data as per your need so just change the operation name modify hyphen default beta okay and uh, here uh, as this is the uh, we are executing output on this one so you do have this first name only so you can build your there are two things you can build your last name with the empty value here you can see the last name with the empty value and you can build your full name as well because you don't have full name first name sorry you don't have the last name so generally you can directly put your name only so uh, in the full you can put this first name value into the la full name as you don't have last name so you don't need to concat so what you can do is you can call this value like this uh, as a field and and you can get it your value if you look back in the full name you are getting this value as a sagar okay as a first name so this is the transformation for this particular uh, uh, you know vendor or you can say that uh, joho hr portal uh, where we have converted our data into this expected format with this spec so i have already have this spec uh, in this uh, object because just to save the time i have already built it before that okay so now we do have the all the jolt spec we have already uh, uh, know how to build the jolt spec with this input payload because this is a very important part of this jolt um, transformation so once you have this jolt spec ready then easily you can convert into this expected format now how to use this jolt transformation in the code for that we have to understand it so for that what i have to do is um, we have to add these two library as part of this uh, jolt transformation so there is a jolt core library is there and this is the json util for that internal util purpose so we have to add these two library and if you look at this is the version 0.1.7 i am using uh, as part of this demo uh, okay now once you have added this library then you are easily able to execute the jol transformation so i have put all the spec in the resource folder and uh, and uh, i will execute as part of uh, uh, processing so now let me put it uh, the comment and uh, all the old old way of you know uh, integrating the data so now i have stopped this while executing you know uh, this particular code so now it will not call it while up the applications now let me enable this one to call it so then i will show you how to use this jolt spec as part of this platform so now if you look at uh, individual uh, services this is used to get again you know individual data from the rest api and if you look at once i got the response i'm just calling this utility and it will automatically convert into this employee object and i am just using this spec because this spec is used to convert to the spec expected format so this is the spec and this spec we have created earlier now for each vendor will have a different spec whenever you have the third party multiple vendor you can keep the json as part of this project or, or else you can also keep as part of your database as well and you can get it this spec from the database as part of you can store as uh, as a long blob object in the database and you can get it and assign that json object into uh, required things now we'll see this method as well i have created this util for the reference purpose so that for the utility purpose okay so uh, i have enabled all the post construct for this particular uh, integrations jolt this is the jolt folder where i have created again three implementations for this employee service to load the data into our database add then our purpose to load the data uh, from the in our database from the different vendors of the employee okay earlier we have done with the traditional way of working where we are mapping individual field into the expected format if you look at earlier we are using the expected format the individual field we were ma mapping right now we have not 
we are not making any changes as part of code we have make all the changes as part of jol transformation spec only okay let's execute it and see the result so currently my database in create drop uh, mode only so whenever i'm trying to up the applications it will drop and it will create it okay so let's see so application is inserted records in the database okay application is successfully up now let me reload this console and uh, if you reconnect and click on employee look at the all the three records are inserted successfully in the database okay so here the, in this approach we are using jol transformations so let's look into jol transformation how it is trying to integrate it so here we got a response from that api and i am binding a data from in the map object now once you have this map object what you are i'm trying to do is i'm trying to call this jolt util get entity so this jolt util is part of this uh, this you know uh, this format only uh, in this util folder what i am trying to do is this is used to this line json util this util is part of this library and this util is used to load a spec okay so basically if you look at the it is a list right if you look at this spec it's a list because um, it will have multiple operations in a sequence right it can have like here we have the multiple operations in this modify default and shift operations so similarly it, it could have multiple operations as well so that's why it is a type of list now i do have all the list object um, this json here the, this uh, belongs to spec belongs to this json here now this is the channel object which is used to read this spec okay we have assigned this spec to here uh, to this channel and this channel there is a one method is called transform in this channel which is used to transform your your uh, your input payload to your expected output so if you look at i have provided the map object which is coming from where so let me show you if you look at i am providing three uh, input the employee class in which i need a final output like i want to convert this input whatever i have provided into this employee class okay doesn't matter and the, the system needs to automatically populate the all the fields and into required um, you know uh, format so i am passing this response response which came from the this bamboo hr platform or you can say this api so if you look at this three this is the input json i am providing this input json and with respect to this spec with respect to this spec it is trying to convert it will convert actually it will convert into your our expected format this is called transformed output now again with respect to this output i am trying to convert into the required class which i need to store into the our database because here i am trying to store the employee object right for that i need employee object so here i am using object mapper to convert this particular expected object into the expected class so this class i am passing at runtime here employee class and it will automatically convert it to the employee and it will return employee and i'm storing this employee into database with the employee repository you know feature so if you look at earlier bamboo hr service in the traditional way you have to write this line of code and you are mapping manually and here if you look at i don't need to write too much code i just need to write single line of code to convert right now if you look at capetera again you know i i need to just i just need to pass this particular spec nothing else i just need to pass spec because spec will automatically handle each and everything okay and if you look at joho hr again i am just need to pass the spec this spec is here this is the spec path i am providing here it will automatically convert and store into the database and whenever your application is trying to up at that time the data will be loaded and uh, in the into the database as we are using post construct as a trigger point so while uh, you know while initializing the bean uh, process uh, it will automatically you know call this particular method to uh, store the data so now look at the implementation so the the role of the all the hard coded things will be removed automatically okay so this is the overall uh, feature of uh, jol transformations where you will get a data as part of expected format and you can store in the database now interesting thing of jol transformation is 
you can store this this spec in the database and at runtime if you think any field is coming here extra and you want to bind into the database or you want to store in the database without changing anything in the code anything in the code you just need to get a spec from the database and with respect to that spec automatically fields will be there and you can change spec in the database you can fire the alter query and things will automatically populate it so this is the feature of this jol transformation and uh, otherwise in the traditional way again you to map the same field you have to you know assign that field into that uh, manually here and after that the code will be assigned uh, that field from there to here right like this hard coded so there are multiple disadvantages of this approach so that's why nowadays people are using jol transformations wherever it is possible and uh, especially when you are working in the integration platform always try to use this jol transformation because it's very good uh, tool to use uh, this particular things and especially you are working on a different kind of vendors to get the same kind of information with the different fields right so in such cases you should use it and you can use this powerful feature and uh, here i have also exposed this particular apis uh, the list of uh, which is going to be written all the data uh, okay which is stored in the database so this is all about uh, this particular session so in in the next section uh, in the next session we'll see how to play around with the database and how to store this jolt spec in the database and without changing anything in the code how you can uh, store the field and uh, in the database okay currently we have spec store the spec in the in the resource folder so again you know whenever any change is there again you have to come here to change in the spec again right so but yeah in act okay there are this is up to you actually where you are keeping this one how frequently the field is changing so it's up to you uh, but yeah here this is working as a static resources here uh, you can also keep in the database as well as per your business needs and here you can see uh, this uh, this is the jolt project or you can say library this is the resource from where i took the reference and built this demo so you can explore this one i'll share this slides link and uh, github my uh, github uh, link for my code um, uh, as part of this youtube description you can get it in that one okay thank you so much guys uh, for watching this video so please subscribe my channel thank you so much